So, ang inyong background po, may, did you consider yourself mayaman? Yung inyong pamilya? No. Si, well, we, 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 I could not say we were poor because my father and my mother were very well educated. Uh -huh. My father graduated from UP Los Banos 1915. Uh -huh. And uh, he worked as a farmer. And uh, he took the long course. And so I don't think he did very well in agriculture. So when I was going to think of going to agriculture, sabi niya, anak, isang gago sa pamilya, tama na. <laughs> kung gusto mo, <laughs> kung gusto mo mag agriculture, kung meron ka ng pera. Saan kayo nag-aaral? Siyempre sa UP. Okay. <laughs> so let's, let's keep yeah. ready. You, you went to UP. That's where you met your future wife, yes. si Freddy. Accidentally. Accidentally, pa paano kayo nag-meet ni Freddy? My brother-in-law, she... uh, Mr. Cruz, was the president of the class. So he would like to have a dance uh, party. And uh, of course, he could not take his wife, the sister of my wife, to out without my wife going in there. Ah, so yung wife, si Freddy ang naging chaperone. Yeah. Ako yeah. ang nag-chaperone siguro sa, At, sa boss ko. kayo nag-meet. That's okay. very nice. So, attracted kayo kaagad? Maybe it's so. Maybe it's so. <laughs> <laughs> so, nag-graduate kayo ng 1946, kayong dalawa. Yes. Okay? Uh, o ano nangyari? Ba't hindi kayo nag-asawa na kaagad? Well, eldest brother would be taking care of my father if he was alive. But he was killed. They were massacred in Paco. The old house now. My father was sickly. Uh, well, I have no way. I have to stay with him. In other words, kayo ang naging taking care of the father. So hindi hindi well, kayo maka-declare ng love uh, ninyo. That, that was a duty to us. That of uh, course. Okay. Sabi niyo sa libro niyo na marrying Freddie was the best decision you ever made. Bucket po. Well, maybe I was able to do what I thought I should be doing. Nagawa ko yung dapat kong gawin para mabuhay. I've been able to pursue my career as a builder. Ang second parang defining moment in your life is ang decision nyo apparently is ayaw nyo magtrabaho para sa iba. Sabi, ang, ang sabi nyo rito. We, Tama ba yun? You did not want to be an employee. We were not family of employees. Uh -huh. We were employers. So you were risk takers. Yes, yes. Risk yes, takers, yes. Kayo. Now the time came. Uh, we had to get people to work with us and pay them. So we get like apura ng tata, you know, matapos tapos ng parasan. Sige, sabi sabi na tiyan to. David tanda mo ito. Ito masaba ng gali ng Pilipino na huwag mong gagawin. Ano yun? Ubus ubus biyaya pag wala na katunganga. And of course, that, that, that pre, stopped, my young mind, that stopped me, yes. I of stopped course. there and said, uh, if I do this, uh, it's all my fault. Okay. I have to blame myself for not being able to do it because I've been told. Ayan ang, ayan ang always in the back of your mind, hard work. I'd like to go beyond. Go beyond how? Be, be, well, uh, do something else, uh, be able to be established better. We found out, as a group, even uh, before, okay. but kung hindi ka magtuturo, Hindi na lang grupo. My biggest pride in life is that nagturo ako. Uh, in the construction industry, wala lang nagtuturo. In other words, you if are you ask, improving you, the skills of if your you, If you ask, uh, when I was an apprentice, when I talked to an ordinary foreman, bakit kinatuturoan? Bukas ka lang pakita. Kayo lang ang nagtuturo. Yes. And so... It, it is there in our... Uh, no, that we teach. So, uh, we have okay. to teach. So, All right. So... I think Alam that is our advantage. Bitahan namin sa amin mga katunggali dito sa konstruksyon na kami nagtuturo. Okay. And, pero ang dami yung nanalong bids, ano ha? DBP, PNB, Pacific Plaza. You practically built Makati. Now let's go to the little bit sensitive part. Eh kayo eh naging public works and transportation <laughs> secretary. Kwada, malaki na ang DMCI, hindi ba? Malaki na. Oh, eh, ano, eh, bakit sila nagsasabi? You know, talagang nagkurakot kayo. Kaya kayo, pina, you know, in inechapuera ni President Marcos. Ikwento niyo nga sa amin yan? My first order to so the department, I'm not buying anything for you. You better buy what you need. If I catch you fooling around, bahala ka. I hope I don't. I don't care. But 
I told the president, the first thing I told him, this office is impossible, no? Sabi ko kay Marcos, bakit ika niya? Kailangan ako sa lahat, pipirma lang. Hindi ako, I cannot do anything. And I don't want to buy for this department. And that was what the department... Doon ang pera. <laughs> the oh. first, uh, sabi nung Marcos... Nasyak ba si Marcos? Well... Uh, sabi nyo, ayoko <laughs> mag... Uh, the first, first thing that I got, uh, well, uh, some people inside were happy because under your kind of system of being able to open bid and find out. So the public bidding was very, very much employed. Uh -huh. I think so. So, naka, naka, naka kwan kayo ng mga reforma sa public works and transport? I, I think so. I'm happy that uh, many well, things have changed. Bakit kayo pinatalsik ni Marcos? This is funny, but uh, after that, He called me. He ah, after he fired you, he called you. Yes. Ganun ba? Yeah, yes, Pero, so I just kept quiet. And, uh, para siyang, pasensya mo ito, I have to do it. Because yung mga Ilocano group doon, hindi mga pasapasa, yung kanilang kalukuhan. Na mag Sa inyo? Yes. So kayo ay... Oh, yes. That Pero is paano that's kayo very clear. pinaalis? One sayo. morning, I just said that uh, I was, uh, uh, well, kicked out. Hindi ba public yun? Hindi ba nasa Luneta Grandstand? Yes, sinabi yes, ni, yes, yes, sabi yes, ni Marcos, yes, yes, sabi ni President Marcos, yes, yes. we have to get rid of undesirables. Yes. Ay, di dito sa libro nyo. Yeah. And then, ando doon kayo. Uh, doon lang nyo nalaman na yes, wala yes. na pala kayo, hindi uh, na pala kayo. Yes, yes, yes. But the same day ano, he called. Same ano, day he called. But privately, in public, he called you a yes, corrupt person. Yeah, yes, and yeah. then privately, he called you up. I just want to make it clear for the record, Dave, no? Mm -hmm. Because according to you, in your book, mm -hmm. when Imelda asked you to, to become DPWH secretary, tinanggihan nyo yeah, well, dalawang have, beses. Yes. So, so hindi kayo nagsisik for the job? No, 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 never. Uh, never. Uh, as a matter of fact, when he called me... I jokingly said, I did not even vote for you, Mr. President. You did not, yes. you did not even vote for him. But again, ang sabot niya, ganito, kayong mga nasa labas, pagpapasok sa gobyerno, agad ayaw ninyo. Bakit ninyo subukin kung anong problema makita niyo? So you see. So na-challenge kayo? Well, that is what uh, happened. Eh, nung ginawa, naggumawa naman kayo ng good job, natalsik naman kayo. Eh, paano yan? Sabi niyo kako, linisin ng gobyerno. For the first time, about five, seven minutes, the president was so quiet. He could not answer me. Two people, tao niya. Uh, after five minutes, David, ang hirap sa'yo, hindi mo alam ang politika. Baka kung wala yan, wala ako din sa posisyon ko. Ayaw. So, hindi niya sinunod. So, just kept quiet. And, uh, after all, as secretary, I only act for the president. Okay. I cannot do more. Okay. I have to play my role. Okay. So, in other words, ito, ito ang nangyayari, uh, Dave, ano ha? One, defining moments in your life. One, you chose the right person to marry. <laughs> Two, you decided you wanted to be a builder. A, yeah, a builder rather than a designer and definitely on your own rather than an employee. Three, yung inyong... Uh, yung inyong prinsipyo is to uh, give your clients the best, their money's worth, the, the best. The, the, and it's that's, written down. Uh, it's written down. Hindi Our kayo creed. Nagdadaya. We have a creed. Meron kayo uh, creed. Uh, uh, At saka, hindi kayo uh, nagdadaya. For, how is your family life, Dave? I know you have eight children, but, uh, you know, siguro sa kayod kayo ng kayod, eh, hindi kayo nagbibigay ng attention sa anak ninyo. Maybe in some way, sometime, but I always try to come home for lunch. Even when I was in the, depa when I was in the department, uh -oh. I make it a point to come home for lunch. In other words, there was one meal a day that you were with your children. Uh, yeah. If I'd, I'm not here, uh, chances that I would be with some okay. provincial whatever work. Fifth, yung mga ibang mga billionaires sa listahan, mukhang may number two and number three and maybe even number four. Kayo ba? <laughs> e may number, ba, number two, three, or four? I think it's public knowledge that I have one wife and I live with her. She lives with me. And uh, so far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, in other words, to be a billionaire, it is not necessary to have plenty of women around. <laughs> yes? Okay, ano pa? Ano pa ang inyong mga 
mga secrets of your success. I have to give also credit to my good luck that I had very good friends who stayed with me. I'll give you an example, no? Uh, all of them have got master's course, and I have none. And uh, they chose to go with me for I don't know why. Maybe because of friendship, because of some principles, and so on and so forth, no? Ilan ba ang employees ng inyong, ang inyong organization? How many employees oh, do you have? thousands now. 12,000 maybe today. 12,000 yeah, employees. Yeah. Okay. How many of them? are on a six-month basis? Well, I would not really know, but I'm talking about the key people that have built up the MCI. Uh -uh. Uh, mostly my classmates and uh, schoolmates, no? no? You never had a master's course? No, no. Okay. Uh, I, you never took graduate courses? No, I never took a course. Maybe I would have passed. <laughs> I would have <laughs> no, passed. I, passed. Okay. I have a question to ask. When did you earn your first million? <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember when never, you... never came to my mind. What do you mean? You just kept on, just kept on working and working and working. By the time you made your first house, millionario de ba kayo? Hindi pa. No, I don't think I could call myself a millionaire. Okay. But uh, what I think was I had, uh, we had steady projects there. Okay. Hindi pa kayo nagyabang ki Freddy na, Oi, Freddy, millionario na tayo. Aren't you glad that you married me? <laughs> no. no can, you don't remember. You even, honestly don't remember. You cannot even joke in that way. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bakit? Ano sasabihin niya? Ano sasabihin niya pag... Quiet. <laughs> Magagalit siya sa inyo. Magagalit siya sa inyo. <laughs> okay. Kaya mo si Freddy talaga, ang sinabi niya sa mga anak niya, hindi pera ang ipapamana sa inyo ng tatay nyo, pangalan. Pero in this case, siguradong pera rin yan. With, with 2.7 billion dollars, there's no way. Not... In other words, money was not the object then. It was not really in our mind. You, you just kept on putting it back and putting it back and putting it back into the business. Was there never a time when the business was in trouble? We had many, many problems, but I did not take it that seriously. Back it. Why did you take it seriously? I, I would rebound. I, you would rebound. I was very confident I would go up. Because I'm willing to sacrifice. What am I going to say? I'll go back if I have to go back. So. Hindi kayo na lugi. Hindi lang kayo nag profit. Maybe, yes. A little lugi. A little, yeah. You didn't care. I mean, you just wanted to make sure. We just say that. We just say, I always say na, pagpapawisan lang yan, hindi ba? Kaya talaga din eh. Okay. No, otherwise, you cannot rebound. Masisira uh -huh. ulo mo. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Can you... Pwede bang sabihin nyo sa... May message ba kayo sa mga ating mga viewers na medyo may intention sana maging billionaire rin? O miski, you know, uh -huh. Philippine peso billionaire lang. Ano ang inyong tip sa kanila? You have to plan better. You have to wish for the best. You have to pray a little. Pray a little. Uh, yeah. Pray kayo ng pray. Eh. Uh, ano pa? Well, if you really think uh, for the good of many, and not for your own self alone, I think you have more leeways Ayan. of uh, getting good luck. In other words, in other words, you can make money even if you're a good guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. You must be a good guy to make money. Huwag kayong alis dyan. Masarap pa ang usapan natin. After all, how many times can you look into the life of a billionaire?